Morning guys. We've got a ripper demo today. Uh, so we're gonna get our 7710 and we're gonna get our chisel plow out onto the one half the sand side and they're gonna bring a ripper for the uh, the clay side. Uh, my ripper is gonna stay in the barn. We don't need it today. So let's let's make it happen. Hello ladies. Oh, you're in the back. All right, shuffle time. On this side, find the hard path. So you're just digging down to the subsoil first? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, and just, I'll just grab a knife and you'll be able to feel it through. Does this little guy do? Yeah, that'll do. You should be able to. Drag on it. Yep. That's yeah, like right in there. Okay. How many inches? So we're at 14, so like nine inches down. Nine inches. Okay. So then we'd want to go an inch and a quarter below that. Yep. Break it up. Yep. So. Ten and a quarter inches. So basically on this ripper we have two lines that are feeding all the hydraulic fluid to the ripper and our one, two, and three remotes are just sending an electronic signal to our soil command box and that's changing the flow in the box to influence if we want to move the blades deeper, the shanks, the crumbler or the mufflers. Alright, well, let's drop it in. I'm gonna watch from here for a few. So I think he's setting his true set. I'll find it when we get in there. do in this cab so this is just the ISO 
um, virtual plug from the ripper plugs into the tractor so we can use this ripper on John Deere, you all in case any tractor with an ISO plug. And so through that, our A65 ripper screen will come up through the virtual terminal, terminal screen and then basically we got four presets and we have a lift for all the way up and then we can save a preset for a lift in the field so we're not lifting the ripper all the way up and slowing things down for when we go to drop the ripper back in the ground for turnaround at headlands. We have a fore and aft adjustment, a disc height adjustment, a shank adjustment, a leveler, and then a crumbler. We're at 200 pounds per foot on the rear so that's pretty well and then you just change your shank adjustment if you got in a tough spot in the field or you could have it saved as a second reset. Let's do a nice little job. feel it ease You'll probably shift up a couple times if you want to yeah that is a very level job you could pretty much go and plant in that that's crazy that's a lot nicer job than our ripper would do the spot here is where we're always parking wagons and using the buggy and there's time right now you got this tractor just thinking about spinning it's CVT, so it's always trying to shift down and keep a constant speed, but you can hear it work. And there she freed up. You can see the sides just a little bit. Like that's definitely a harder soil over here. It's not clay, but it's like a clay loam. Um, but it's that machine is doing like a super, super level job. That is just fantastic. so. This was the pea field, and you can see that. So there was no peas left when they they left. But uh, what if you just cut them off at the bottom, they will grow back. And then look, there's more peas. So it's basically acting as a as a cover crop. So we're working all this stuff in. So that's, should work out pretty nice. Yeah, like they're just, come back, bring the harvesters back. We're ready to go again. That's cool. So, anyways, we're gonna work in that green matter. Thought so it's gonna be awesome. Look at this, look at that. Yeah. Anyways, that's cool. I guess while I got time, I'm gonna talk about uh, that ripper over there. Uh, I think you can see him cruising along with that big case. Uh, my personal opinion is that case tractor, it's actually really nice inside, it's got nice leather. I like the CVT, uh, but yet again, my John Deere has the same thing, IVT. It's pretty much the same crap, just depends on what color you like, and I like green. Uh, as for that case ripper, now I've not tried a John Deere ripper. Um, that ripper does a fantastic job. Super happy with it. Uh, that true set that he was talking about is very slick. You can set everything from in the cab while touch screen. It's very nice compared to, now I 
did, don't have, I do not have our ripper here to compare it to, but that's okay because I know the job our ripper does. Um, that one does a lot leveler job. Ours is a five shank and it has discs up front, discs up back. I'll do a quick clip of it sitting in the shop when we get back. I uh, just so you can kind of see what it is compared to that one. Um, that one has leveling discs at the back. It also has a nice basket uh, it, it, and two more shanks. Uh, but it, it really does a nice job. And that go back to that true set. You know, you can set the level, the depth. Uh, the depth of your blades up front, you can set how much pressure you want on the packing basket uh, or the rolling arrows, and it's, to me, that's that's really nice. Because the way we set ours up, I'll let my brother drive the tractor, and then I will drive beside the ripper, and I'll tell myself, and I'll make an adjustment, whether that's to make it deeper, or to put the disc deeper leveler, or to just to level the whole machine out. It, it just makes it that much quicker. But Super expensive option, six grand uh, for that that option. So just keep that in mind if you're looking at one. Um, also, my ripper I bought used, it was a lot cheaper. So I'm gonna keep my ripper, but it's it's awesome that they brought that out. So thank you again, Delta. And also, when I say my tractors, I mean mine and my brother's tractors. We co-own them together, and my mom for the farm's tractors. So we'll get that straight right now. Got to farm together. <laughs> 